everyone. We are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews today. And we just got this Bissell Steam Shot Deluxe. This is the model number. That's the box. Uh, sorry, it's a little dark in here. I don't know why, but it seems a little dark. This is some useful information I get because if you ever come back to the video and um, if you are uh, if you come back to the video and you're missing your instructions or missing something, you can at least check it out. I don't know, it's warranty card. So these are the instructions so you don't got to go, uh, you know, searching around for them. You could just pause this and just read it. It's very simple. And then this will be more interactive, I guess, right? Than just reading it. I mean, than just reading it on the web page. All right, so on the top, we got the hose that's coming out. I... So there's some kind of grease or something on this hose, so make sure that's not dried out. Like a, like a Vaseline or something like that, you know, nothing crazy, obvious. So kind of, so we got the measuring cup. They always give you something like this. So I have we have a bunch of those around the house for all our different crap that we buy from everybody um accessories so we got a brush right here all right so we got your steam shot which uh is this thing right here then we got your accessory nozzles uh then we got this is your accessory nozzle that you're gonna put uh over here uh you got that as well then you got your extension hose over here which is not really that long but i mean if you make this too long uh, it'll be the steam won't come out hot because the closer you keep it to this the hotter your steam is going to be So the better performance of cleaning so that's why you're not going to want these uh, whips to be too long unless it's like You know a commercial um, You know kind of setup that you got going on here. So this one is the grout brush right here that they got Then we got the uh, scraper tool so it sprays out and I guess it scrapes uh, That as well. It's just called an angle tool is what that says then we got different brushes. I mean, uh, the red is a detail brush. The green round is a detail brush. And then the black is a detail brush. Okay, so they all say they're the same exact brush. I would think one is like, you know, um, harder than the other, but I'm not sure because it doesn't tell you that. This is the fabric tool right here. Then they give you the little sock, which, uh, you know, you're gonna obviously put over uh, for your garments and stuff like that. See, very simple, so you would do that. It's not like really anything crazy. And then this is the, uh, the steam squeegee tool. So I guess if you can, you can use this on glass or certain things like that would be kind of cool. And then obviously the measuring cup is the last thing. So that's kind of the unboxing. The cord, I'm not sure how long they give you a cord. All right, so uh, it looks like we got a 15 foot cord. All right, so I just measured that real quick. So we got 15 foot that you can travel around. Um, for, I don't, I'm not sure about the extension cord. We're gonna test out how many watts this thing pulls. You know, we know how we do it. This is a thousand watts, but let's see how much it does pull when we plug this stuff in. Cause a thousand watts, you can easily use this with another 25 foot and you'll be fine. If this was like 1500 watts, I probably would be careful with trying to use extension cords because if you starve the unit of power, you could damage it and then you just won't get the performance anyway. All right, so uh, yeah, so we'll be back. Uh, we'll we'll uh, figure out how to use it, test it out, yada, 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 and that's it, all right?